Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. I am beyond grateful that you are here and I hope that you will stick around and join us for today's conversation. We are actually going to be talking about this community, you guys, the Katie Joy community. Um, when I first came onto the scene and started doing Katie commentary, if you will. I had no idea that there was other people out there that did the same thing. Very quickly, I started getting recommendations of other Katie videos and other people covering Katie and just the things that she has done throughout the years. And I have connected with some incredible creators out there, you guys. Like, I cannot stress that enough. So many respectful, beautiful people who are out to do the exact same thing I am to raise awareness on the things that this woman has done and how she has literally affected people's personal lives, ruined people's lives with her bullying and her behavior. And in the great big scheme of things, she has gotten away with it. Up until this lawsuit, there hasn't been any grand repercussions for the things this woman has done. She still has a platform. She's still, you know, making her content. And it's crazy because there's people that have done the same things or similar things as Katie, and they have been deplatformed for it. So the fact that this woman is still on this platform, still very confidently on this platform, and still doing these same things, being a bully, just the nasty behavior in general, it upsets a lot of people. So it's been really cool to see that there is a community of people out there that are out to do the same thing and just raise awareness on what's going on, keep people updated with the lawsuit, different things of that nature. Now, throughout this process, I have received tons of emails and messages from you guys sharing your personal stories of how you've been affected and treated by Katie. And that's why I've started really trying to look into that side of things and give people a place where they can use their voice, share their story, and raise awareness on these things. And like I said before, there is tons of other commentators out here doing the exact same thing that are just awesome people and I've really, really enjoyed getting to know them, hearing their stories, and having this thing that we can kind of connect over. That being said though, you guys, um, it didn't take me long to realize that there was another side of this community, a side that I personally did not want anything to be a part of. And once I realized that there was this anti-Katie community within the Katie community, it was a little crazy to me because there are people out there that truly make all of their videos on Katie, which no judgment, no hate, no nothing. I do make a lot of Katie videos myself, but these videos were more targeted towards Katie's appearance, Katie's parenting skills, speculation on what they think of Katie, you know, just different things of that nature. And it seemed to hit really below the belt, which if you guys have followed me for a while, you know, that was my biggest issue with Katie is how she would hit below the belt and affect people's personal lives, drag their names through the dirt, and it really affect their mental health. And I started seeing that there was people within this community that was doing that same behavior, the Katie Joy behavior. I started to get really weary on the situation because I've seen it happening and I would watch from a distance, not wanting to be a part of it, but thinking to myself, what you're doing is no better than what Katie herself does. And you're sitting here advocating against Katie, but yet you're doing it. And so it was very confusing to me how these people were doing these things and didn't realize that they were really being just like Katie. Another thing about it that was really just disturbing to me was the fact that within this anti katie community, there was these people constantly were going after one another. Like one content creator would go against another content creator. Oh, because they felt this way and this person felt that way and they had a disagreement. And you could see them like attacking each other, literally attacking each other over the smallest details in a story or just, you know, something outlandish. Kind of took me back to like high school, you know, 
those mean girls in high school that you would try to stay clear of because you would see them talking bad about someone and you knew, you knew that if they could sit there and talk like that about one person, they would do it to you. So the best thing to do in a situation like that is to stay out of it. Do not cross that line. Don't even go there. And because of that, I did start getting very weary on even covering the Katie stuff because I never wanted to blur those lines or for people to think that I was a part of this anti katie community. And even though I feel I've done a great job making that well known and I have been very neutral in sharing my opinions on the situation, I have said many times that I feel we can have a conversation as a community. We can raise awareness on the things going on without being nasty, without being rude or disgusting or dragging someone because of their opinion or because of something very personal in their lives. I've even made a few videos basically saying, hey, I don't agree with this behavior. I don't think it's okay to send people hate or bully people. And there is tons of people within the anti-Katie community that that is what they're all about. They bully, they send hate, they just drag people for things that are out of their control, like their appearance. And it's just... It's very disgusting. When I think of a community, I think of people out there supporting one another and giving each other advice on things and sharing stories together and just connecting on that level, whatever it may be. But what I've seen time and time again within the anti-Katie community is these people do not support one another. They drag one another along with dragging Katie. And the whole reason I'm even bringing this up and really talking about it is it's hit an all-time high. There's people actually having to be hospitalized because of this, and it's really affecting other people's mental health. And I have been watching all of this just unravel from the distance, not wanting anything to do with it, but it's like, at some point, when is enough enough? You know, at some point you have to speak out and say, this is not okay. You're turning into Katie. And honestly, I know for a fact that Katie is watching all of this go down with the biggest smile on her face, laughing, saying, they're going to destroy each other. They'll be gone. And then I'm still going to be here standing, doing what I do. Nobody can bring me down. And I know that's what she's thinking. And I truly cannot blame her. They have lost sight of what they are advocating for. They have lost sight of why they even started doing this in the first place. And at this point, it's no longer even about Katie Joy because they're fighting with one another and it's doing no good. Within this lawsuit, whenever all the Twitter drama really started, it happening and there was all these people threatening others and hacking into people's accounts and just sending really disturbing messages to other people that scared me and I kind of started stepping away from the Katie stuff a little bit then because I do not want any part of it and I do feel like if you're going to be a part of this community or be covering anything to do with Katie you have to be extremely careful in the way you say anything or you will fall into that category you guys I want to see justice be brought just as much as the next person and I would love nothing more but to see Katie really have to answer for the things that she's done maybe even be deplatformed. I mean, honestly, the thing she's done, you guys, is ridiculous. And the fact that she is still able to do those things and have this platform where she is putting out so much misinformation, bullying people constantly, and really just not doing anything good over there, in my personal opinion. I would love nothing more but for her to actually have to answer for those things. But we as a community do not need to interfere. We as a community don't need to do anything. She's going to do this herself like she has done for the last few years. She doesn't need anyone's help in doing that. All, all we have to do as a community is commentate on the things that this woman is doing because it's bad enough on its own. She needs no help looking bad, you guys. I promise. And the last thing we should be doing is turning against each other. That's what blows my mind the most, I think, is the fact that the attention is not where it should be and we should not be ripping up each other apart. All that does is 
tear this community apart. And it gives us a bad name. I mean, at the end of the day, it truly does. It gives this community a horrible name. And I hate that because like I mentioned before, there are amazing people within this community, you guys, who truly are not doing anything wrong. They are out to raise awareness on things that people need to be aware of. Unfortunately, at this moment, the bad is outweighing the good, which really, really sucks for someone like myself and other commentators who aren't for this anti Katie mentality. In our last video, we talked about the Nat Declaration and how recently there has been more information coming out that kind of just makes you question that declaration a little bit. And for me personally, from the very beginning, there was things in that declaration that seemed very oddly fishy. I would love nothing more but for Tati to win this lawsuit and make an example out of Katie. But I feel like Katie's whole argument throughout all of this is that most of the information coming forth against her is from trolls, right? And that is what she has said literally since day one is this information isn't true. This information is coming from trolls that just don't like me, blah, j blah. And this behavior of attacking each other and putting outlandish things out there, it's kind of proving her right at the end of the day. And that in no way is helping this lawsuit or the situation in general. It's actually hurting this lawsuit because it's making it look really bad on Tati's side and the stuff that they have brought forth. In particular, the Lori and Nat declaration and the information that came out in those. I think it's gotten to a point where people have so much resentment towards Katie and there's so much anger that they've lost sight of why they even started covering the story to begin with or they've kind of fallen into this really nasty negative place and it shows. It shows big time. I feel like as a community, we can have this conversation and bring things to life without being nasty and without ripping each other apart and being a part of the problem because in reality that's exactly what's happening the people doing these things and being a part of the anti katie community you are a part of the problem it really sucks that this community has really started becoming such a toxic place because I love the people I've met through here and I really do enjoy giving you guys the katie content and talking about it, but at the same time, it is scary and I definitely don't want to fall into this disgusting behavior or be associated with it at all because that's not me. That's not my journey. And I'm not here to drag anyone, bring anyone down, make them feel less than a person. None of that. The past few weeks, Katie's really been extremely quiet when it comes to everything. She's not been sharing a whole bunch on social media. And it's my speculation that that is why these people are now turning against each other because, well, there's nothing to cover. There's no stories. So now they're going to turn on each other because of all this anger and resentment that they have towards Katie, it's getting pointed elsewhere now because Katie isn't doing much to talk about. The biggest reason I wanted to talk about this is because I want to make it crystal clear that I am not a part of this anti-Katie community. I want nothing to do with it. I do not hate Katie. I do not want to know what her personal life is about. I don't want to talk about her personal life, her, her appearance, nothing like that. That's doing no good. As I mentioned before, it is a part of the problem. It's a huge part of the problem. The sooner you realize that what you're doing is very much Katie Joy mentality, the quicker we can move on and actually be doing good within this community instead of tearing apart what good has been done. There has been some really amazing things happen within this community. So it does kind of feel like a personal attack because these people are coming in and they're literally ripping apart all the good things that we've done in this community, making us look really, really bad. If you really want to do something, the best thing you can do is raise awareness on the things that this woman has already done and continue continues to do instead of contradicting yourself and the community by doing all this negative toxic stuff. I don't even understand why it's gotten to this. And it's scary to see that this community is slowly falling apart, that there are people within the community that are a huge part of the problem. And it sucks. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and tapping the bell for post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload. I appreciate every single one of you to the moon and stars. And until next time, bye.